Introduction to Complicated Urinary Tract Infections Complicated urinary tract infections, or CUTIs, encompass a range of conditions, including pyelonephritis, bacteremic UTIs, catheter-associated UTIs, and prostatitis in both men and women. These infections often present with additional challenges due to underlying medical conditions or persistent symptoms. The 2025 Infectious Diseases Society of America, or IDSA, guidelines provide a structured approach to managing CUTIs, emphasizing evidence-based strategies for empiric antibiotic selection, treatment duration, and antibiotic stewardship. A Systematic Approach to Empiric Antibiotic Selection the 2025 IDSA guidelines introduce a four-step framework to guide empiric antibiotic therapy for CUTIs. Assess severity of illness. The first step is to determine whether the patient is septic or stable. Severity of illness directly influences the urgency and breadth of empiric antibiotic therapy. For septic patients, broad-spectrum antibiotics are often necessary to ensure timely and effective treatment. Evaluate risk factors for resistance. Reviewing recent urine cultures and antibiotic exposure is critical. Patients with a history of resistant infections or recent antibiotic use are at higher risk for resistant pathogens. This information helps tailor empiric therapy to cover likely organisms. Consider patient-specific factors. Patient characteristics such as allergies, comorbidities, renal function, age, and potential drug interactions must be carefully considered. Tailoring therapy to these factors minimizes the risk of adverse events and ensures appropriate dosing. Consult local antibiotogram for septic patients. For septic patients, institutional antibiotogram data should inform antibiotic selection. This approach maximizes the likelihood of effective initial therapy by aligning treatment with local resistance patterns. Emphasizing early de-escalation. Once culture results identify the causative organism, antibiotic therapy should be de-escalated to a narrow spectrum agent. This step is essential for curbing antimicrobial resistance and reducing unnecessary drug exposure. Broad-spectrum antibiotics should be discontinued as soon as possible to preserve their efficacy for future patients. Simplifying diagnosis with observable symptoms. The guidelines shift away from complex definitions of CUTIs, focusing instead on observable symptoms such as fever, systemic signs, and catheter use. This clinical approach supports rapid, bedside decision-making. Recognizing urinary tract device involvement and systemic illness as markers of CUTI further aids in prompt diagnosis and treatment. Optimal Duration of Therapy the standard duration of therapy for CUTIs is seven days for patients who are clinically improving. Prolonged courses do not offer additional benefits in most cases and increase the risk of adverse effects and resistance. Shorter durations may be appropriate for select patients who respond promptly to treatment. Transitioning from IV to oral therapy Early transition from IV to oral antibiotics is encouraged for clinically stable patients. This approach reduces complications, shortens hospital stays, lowers costs, and minimizes patient inconvenience. Oral regimens should be chosen based on bioavailability, the identified pathogen, and patient-specific factors. Practical Considerations for Healthcare Teams Effective management of CUTIs requires daily monitoring for clinical improvement and side effects. Rapid diagnostics and urine cultures are essential tools for guiding therapy adjustments. Antimicrobial stewardship teams should be involved in complex or resistant cases. Collaboration among nursing, pharmacy, and infectious diseases specialists ensures comprehensive care. 
Key points to remember. Use the four-step IDSA framework to guide empiric antibiotic selection for CUTIs. Prioritize de-escalation to narrow-spectrum therapy once culture results are available. A seven-day treatment course is standard for most patients. Transition from IV to oral therapy early for stable patients. Classify CUTIs based on observable symptoms and treatment needs rather than outdated definitions. By adhering to these guidelines, healthcare providers can optimize treatment outcomes, minimize resistance, and enhance patient care in managing complicated urinary tract infections.